Alright guys, so today I'm gonna talk to you about how you can improve your computer and get higher FPS in games like these. So, as you can see, I'm gonna go through a GeoForce experience. It's a program that will help you increase your overall uh, improvements on your computer. Uh, startup apps uh, to reduce lag, uh, temporary files. I'm going through uh, power options, which will make your computer even faster always remember to do the windows update and last i'm gonna go through the systems display so yeah let's get into it yeah. all right so first thing we gotta do is we gotta get the geoforce experiment geoforce experiment i guess i keep calling it geoforce i don't know why and you just gotta download this and when you get it up here, you're gonna download it. If you can't get this, it's probably because your computer is too old or you don't have uh, the required uh, graphic cards. But when you download it and have it uh, installed it, guys, you can go to, you, you'll be here where you can see all your games. Then you gotta go to your drivers up here. And as you, on my screen right now, it will say that I have a, a GeForce game ready driver. I have a driver ready to be installed on yours. You are just got to download the first driver because it's the first time you're going to download it. But as if you already downloaded it, it will keep coming with different updates and you just got to uh, get the notification bell on. So you're always ready to get the newest update. So you have the newest, newest driver. And I'm gonna download it. Uh, this this driver, it's gonna help uh, to improve your FPS and your overall gaming experiment experience. Uh, as you can see here, it says Express or Custom Installation. You're just gonna uh, press Express. You can do a custom, but I wouldn't recommend it if you uh, don't have any uh, knowledge about this. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, guys. And if you are up, to the, if you have the newest driver, it will just have this uh, check mark and say GeForce Game Ready Driver, and this will uh, definitely help to improve your computer. All right, guys. So the next thing we gotta do is we gotta do the startup apps. So we search startup apps and go in here. And this is an important one because I will bet that some of you have a PC when you turn it on it will just spam with uh, different programs and games and this is really making your computer slow and a good way to fix this is going to the startup apps and in here you're gonna turn like I don't want to do the Adobe because I don't have any money guys so I'm using DaVinci right now I don't have money for Adobe Pro Premiere CC so I'm actually gonna turn those off next time I'm gonna turn my computer on it's not gonna automatically uh, open up my Adobe programs here and what you want to do here you just want to turn all your uh, games off that you don't use like if you have the epic game launches when you install this first time it will automatically be set to turned on so just remember to turn it off because as i said your computer is definitely using a lot of power in here and we don't want that we want our computers to be fast and if you all and sometimes you don't pay attention that you actually have a lot of uh, games open right now you can also check this by pressing Control shift escape and in here we can see what programs that are running right now and how much cpu that we are how much our process processor is using um, of power right now so mine isn't using that much right now all right guys so for the temporary files you want to press windows and r and i already wrote it here but you're gonna hold shift uh, it depends what keyboard you have but writing the percentage and then temp and percentage and okay and let me just get it my on my main screen i'm just gonna press uh, uh, Control a for selecting everything in here all the trash in here so i do this once a week when i remember it uh, so i don't have that much right now i'm gonna press press delete or just uh, right click and delete if you can uh, it's called if you can't delete them right now just uh, mark this box and do continue and if it says something more you're just yeah like this you're just gonna skip uh, mark it and then skip that should be fine 
Okay, so those were the ones I could delete, and the, these are the, the, they are just gonna be here, so that's fine. Then we go to the recycle pin, and again I'm gonna do the Control A to select everything. Then I'm gonna delete, and we just got a little faster computer, and do the same here. All right, guys, for the next one we're gonna go to the control panel, and this is the one I'm talking about with the power, and we're going to the power options. And in here, I put it to high performance so that I get a more uh, effective gameplay. And I would suggest you do the same in here. Windows update. So this is a, an important one. Uh, let's see, uh, update. I should get up here, check for updates. Uh, always, uh, it, it, this should be automatically uh, on. So. But sometimes you gotta install this. If you don't install it, like you just saw, it it said everything was fine. But there's something that it can't install, so always just check this. Just once a month, that would be fine. But if you don't upgrade your Windows, uh, eventually your computer is gonna be very very slow unless you got a really beefy computer. If you go to the settings and you go to your system, you go to power and you go to this energy recommendations. Um, I just realized that I actually had this on. Um, so when you lower your refresh rate to 60 hertz to conserve energy, I didn't know that I had this on. Uh, that was so dumb of me because my screen is like 100 200 300 percent faster so just stay uh, keep changes when you uh, change this i don't know if you have this but it was really annoying that i just <laughs> figured this out after having this screen for like a year uh, i think it was it's just it's something that uh, windows put on because i don't think i always uh, always had this on anyways uh, another thing in the screen uh, display selection in the system display you want to go to the advanced display and make sure you have 240 here also it should be the same but just make sure both of those are on 240 so yeah guys that was pretty much it for today i really hope this video have helped you because i know that people have been asking me this the, these kind of questions how to improve lag and uh, reduce lag and improve uh, fps and just overall having a better computer because we all know the feeling when your computer is slaggy or just doesn't do what you want it to do it's so annoying so i really hope this video helped you out and if it did make sure to subscribe and like this video it really helps me a lot guys see you later peace out